Heijan versus Synthesia. In this video, I want to compare the two best AI avatar video generators on the internet right now for 2025, which is Heijan and Synthesia. And the whole goal of this is to compare them side by side. So if you're someone thinking about getting started, you don't know which one, hopefully by the end of this video, you know which one is right for you. And just before we get started, if you haven't got either of these platforms, I've also left my links down in the description. If you want to help support my channel, make sure you use those. And if you're interested in AI and actually using it in your business, actually implementing it to get better output, then I've also got an AI community. To learn more about that, check out once again the links in the description. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, first of all, I'm going to go and compare pricing between HeyGen and Synthesia because after you do this, you'll probably notice who this software was actually designed for and best used with because it's kind of chalk and cheese when you compare the pricing and allowances. So on HeyGen, on the creator plan, you can uh, play around with the free plan on either software, but it's more for just testing. So the creator plan is when you really start using it. In HeyGen, you can have unlimited videos up to 30 minutes long, 1080p video export. You also get to have one custom avatar and one custom interactive avatar and 700 stock avatars. So if you want to know what the differences are between a video avatar and an interactive avatar, a video avatar is basically a clone of yourself that you can create. You can type in some text and it's going to um, build that video of you speaking on it. An interactive avatar, on the other hand, is if you were having a video call with someone, you could put that avatar as you and then that avatar could actually talk. So it's pretty cool how you can use it for both of those scenarios. So let's have a look now at Synthesia. Now, once again, on the monthly plan, $29, so same price. You can actually have uh, 10 minutes of video per month. So this is 10 minutes of video generation total. So versus HeyGen, you can have unlimited videos up to 30 minutes long. So in Synthesia, you can only have 10 minutes for the entire month. So quite a bit different. There's also only 125 Synthesia AI avatars versus 700 in HeyGen, which is pretty crazy. And if we go down to the features inside of here as well and have a look, only 140 languages in Synthesia, over 175 in HeyGen. Um, so plenty of different things in here. So you're probably wondering if the, if the allowances are so much different between HeyGen and Synthesia, then what is the actual benefit? And honestly, it all comes down to one thing that I can only really see. And I had to scour through their comparisons on both of their websites. But Synthesia is basically uh, really focused, first of all, on security. It is a US based company, whereas HeyGen is actually a Chinese based company. Not saying anything's wrong with it, but that's kind of what their angle is. Also, HeyGen, I can see by obviously the allowances in here is created for users. So it could be everyday people, content creators, things like that. Whereas Synthesia is more focused on high production film quality and also working with corporate companies. So that's basically the two differences I can see in terms of why the pricing is so much different, why the allowances are so much different. So it's really interesting to know if you're just an everyday user right off the bat, HeyGen is probably going to be um, better suited. It's also got a lot of fun things like photo avatars if you just wanted to upload a photo and bits and pieces like that. So hopefully that clears the air in terms of pricing versus uh, the two platforms inside of there. So now let's look at the back offices of both of these platforms. So these are both paid accounts inside of HeyGen and Synthesia. So if we come inside of here, first of all, let's have a look at the different avatars because a lot of people will probably just be using what's already inside of there. So this is HeyGen. We've got, it looks like 1,025 avatars inside of here now, which is absolutely nuts. So we've got a lot of transparent ones. We've also got a lot of different settings inside of here. You can also filter it by uh, these tabs or you can search. So let's just say we wanted some UGC type of content. If you want to use sort of UGC created content, You've got all of these different people that you can use inside of it, which is pretty cool. And then if we look at Synthesia, this is Synthesia. If we come to avatars on the left again, um, we can come through and have a look at their pre-made avatars. This lady here is probably the biggest face on AI uh, avatars as she was the original when uh, Synthesia originally launched. But you can see there's lots inside of here. Now, majority of these first ones are green screen, which is good. But once again, we've got plenty inside of here. So what I'm going to do right now 
just to see what it actually looks like in terms of video quality, I've just created this little tiny text. My, hey, my name is Phil and this is an epic video comparison. Thanks for watching it with me. What I'm gonna do is copy that and I'm gonna create a video using the default avatars, both in HeyGen and Synthesia. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna time it and then we're gonna have a look what the differences are in timing as well as video and audio quality. So for this example, we'll just choose something with a nice background. So we'll just choose the first one here. This lady looks pretty good. Okay, so this is how you create the videos. So I'll click new video and I will just go ahead and paste it in like so. Okay, and click on generate and click generate once it's loaded and let's see how long this actually takes to work. Okay, so it says 10 minutes, so let's pull the trigger and actually see how long it takes. Boom. There we are, four minutes, 29. It took to generate this video and this is now complete. So I'll just note this down so I've got it for later. Four minutes, 29, perfect. So let's actually have a look at how this video has come out. Hey, my name is Phil and this is an epic comparison video. Thanks for watching it with me. Cool, so that actually looks really good. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and publish it. Okay, must have a download button here, here we go. Download as MP4, we've got plenty of good options in here too. So now let's go to HeyGen, same thing again. We've got the AI avatars, let's just took, uh, take a lifestyle one this time um, and we'll choose Jocelyn, she looks pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and once again, copy the text. We'll choose here, talking to camera. Okay, create with AI Studio. And now let's go into script and let's paste in the text. And I'll just bring up the timer once again and let's go ahead and actually test this bad boy out. So submit. I'll just call this um, hey Jen. Okay. And I'll bring this up real quick. Okay. And let's go. Boom. So that is done. Two minutes 47. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Um, but that is good. So we're done. Let's go have a look how, uh, how this video looks. All right. So I'll just download this while we're here. And let's go and play it right now. Hey, my name is Phil and this is an epic comparison video. Thanks for watching it with me. So that surprisingly was a lot more robotic and unnatural sounding compared to Synthesia. So Synthesia for video quality, I believe is probably far superior for this first test. And we'll do an AI avatar test in just a second as well. So let's go ahead and actually look at that now. Now the process of creating an AI avatar, if you want to know, you get one per account inside of HeyGen, you actually get to create 300 different looks. So think of it as you are the AI avatar if you're wanting to clone yourself, but you could have 300 different settings. So it could be, for example, in the studio, could be sitting outdoors, could be in your kitchen, could be doing whatever, different angles, different clothes. You've got 300 versions of yourself that you can create, which is insane. That's amazing. It used to be you have to, you're only allowed to create, I think it was two avatars of yourself completely. So it could be just two scenarios, but now you've got 300 looks. It's crazy. And in Synthesia, once again, you can have, I think you can have actually three on the regular plan. So here's my three. This was actually a studio avatar with a green screen and a microphone. I think it took four days to generate. This was a few years ago. Um, and these get created, I believe, overnight. So once again, hey Jen, I think your avatar takes about 20 minutes to actually create. And to do it, all they say is create a minute of content, one to five minutes of content talking into the camera with really good lighting and really good audio. And then it uploads it ready to go in 20 minutes or so. The same with AI voice, just talk into a really good microphone or your phone or something that's got good recording upload it one to five minutes again and your audio voice should be ready in around 20 minutes as well. Now on Synthesia, uh, to create your own uh, personal avatar, it takes overnight, basically around 24 hours and then it will be available to use. So now let's actually have a look. Let's create a video using some AI avatars that I've already created. So let's use this one, okay? And once again, I'll pull up my amazing script so I'll come to script, paste it in here. 
this is where you choose the different voices i've created my one um as i did yesterday and there's also tons inside of the voice library so i'll just choose mine for this example okay and this time i'm gonna time it one more time just because it's kind of interesting to see the differences um, between them so i'm gonna click on submit i'm gonna call it uh avatar hagen okay ready and submit and let's see how long this takes to generate whoa that was nuts it took 46 seconds maybe even a few less because i was so shocked by how quick it was but that's done so let's go ahead and check out my personal avatar now that was that was crazy quick so let's go and listen to it hey my name is phil and this is an epic comparison video thanks for watching it with me so that's not too bad i mean it doesn't perfectly sound like me but i've got a weird accent it's blended from multiple different countries of accents but it looks pretty good now if we look at the actual video the lip syncing and everything right now it looks relatively good if you were to look at this video without knowing it was an ai avatar you wouldn't really double think it because it looks pretty pretty legit so i'm just going to go and download this and let's do the same thing for synthesia so i'm going to use this one here this time new video I will copy in the um, the text one more time. Okay, paste it in like so. Right, and go and click generate. And I'll call this AI Phil Synthesia. Right, get my stopwatch ready. And let's give it a go. Okay, it says 10 minutes. So let's see how long it actually takes. Okay, so 2 minutes 17, so slightly longer than Hey Gen, but let's have a look at how this actually looks and sounds. Hey, my name is Phil, and this is an epic comparison video. Thanks for watching it with me. That's pretty hard to uh, distinguish if it was human or AI. I'd probably say Synthesia is actually slightly better than Hey Gen in terms of AI avatars. So I think that's about it. In terms of all of the other features inside of these platforms, you can integrate to both of them, I believe, using the API. I think HeyGen is slightly easier to use as it was created for the users, slightly more amounts of uh, integrations you can use. But honestly, that's pretty much it. If you look at the difference in the times, it looks like uh, HeyGen's faster to generate videos using the AIs. It's super quick to create your personal AIs. But apart from that, it looks honestly like if you're someone that wants the best production quality, you want your AI avatars to look as lifelike as possible, then Synthesia is going to be your bet. It's going to cost you a lot more money. It's probably more aimed towards corporates. But if you're just an everyday user like myself, you want to start using AI avatars to create video content, then HeyGen is definitely going to be your best friend. It's not going to be perfect just yet, but it is going to get better over time and it's just so much quicker to create it so you can actually speed up your output. So I hope you enjoyed this HeyGen versus Synthesia comparison. Once again, if you haven't got either of these platforms yet, I'll leave my links down in the description. If you use those, you'll be helping support the channel. And if you wanna join my AI community, go ahead and check that out. HeyGen is just one of the many tools I'll be teaching inside of it. So once again, check it out down in the description. So that's it from me. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.